Politics has existed as long as the government's been in place and people are willing to debate over the proper government procedures. Political ideologies have gone through many variations and phases, but it seems like when it comes down to it, there are two major political categories, and that is the left and the right. These two political ideologies have been debating for centuries, and with so much difference between them, you would think it would be easy to choose which one is the best, right? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Today, you generally have the political right, which is filled with the Christianity-loving, God-praising, abortion-banning, gun-toting nationalists. And on the left, you have them putting up Marxist organizations such as Black Lives Matter, and forcing your kids to learn about LGBTQ and gender theory in schools, and making feminine panties so men's private parts look more womenly? Yeah, about that. These two categories can be labeled as conservative and liberal, disregarding how loosely those terms are used. But by putting it that way, it would seem like choosing the conservative side and supporting them would make the most sense, right? Yeah, no, absolutely not. Conservatives are ineffective and insufficient for stomping out the left. And that's because the left and the conservatives actually politically agree. <laughs> Before this video starts, please take a moment to check out the links in the description, you can follow us on social media, and you can even consider joining our Patreon. We're planning to do similar projects and videos like this, so if you enjoy this, it might be beneficial to you to contribute to our Patreon. Now on to the video. What? The left and the right actually politically agree? Now you're just talking nonsense. Well, it's true. That's exactly why the conservatives are unable to beat the left. Again, the term conservative is loosely defined, but I'm referring to people like John Doyle, Nick Fuentes, Donald Trump, Ronald Reagan, Dennis Prager, Louder with Crowder, Ben Shapiro, those type of people. Of course, I would presume all these people have their inner debates and disagreements, but they all agree on fundamentals. They are for fewer restrictions in the economic sphere in comparison to the left, and they are vehemently against socialism and Marxism in favor of capitalism. Capitalism. Their moral defense of capitalism rests on the Christian worldview that whatever you do that is in your self-interest is immoral, but capitalism is good because it allows you to serve your fellow man in the words of Dr. Walter E. Williams. Isn't it more moral to require that people serve their fellow man in order to have a claim on what he produces rather than not serve others and still have a claim? This corresponds to the view that your brother, your family, your neighbor, or society is the object of moral good. As long as you're able to do something good for somebody else, that is considered the good. First Firstly, it is important to note that to rest capitalism on religious faith is to suggest that the anti-capitalists are on the side of reason. It is an admission that the moral defense of capitalism cannot be argued rationally, but rather has to be appealed through religious faith. And concerning that America is on a secular rise, many would look at capitalism as immoral. The left is typically atheistic, agnostic, or don't fully commit to their religious worldview. So instead of looking at God for their moral compass, they replace God with society. That society is our moral guide and whatever is good for society is what's good for everybody. This is the exact same premise of the conservatives, that sacrificing oneself to something beyond himself is the moral good. They just disagree on how to apply that principle. Conservatives have the religious view that you are imperfect and is ordained with original sin, which society must enforce social and cultural restrictions so humans don't naturally go down the path of chaos. Adams was opposed to the idea of human perfectibility. Uh, this uh, ties in with uh, the ideal of original sin upheld by uh, a lot of traditional conservative thinkers, humans cannot be made uh, perfect. Humans are deeply flawed and we will always be flawed. And one of the important things about the way that you structure political institutions is you have to account uh, for human uh, fallibility and human imperfection and the fact that humans can be corrupt. Thus, we must sacrifice the liberty and freedom of each person to achieve a higher freedom. This is called the freedom from desire, which includes drugs, porn, and lust, and similar temptations. The government should do things that makes it easier for people to have families. Yes. They should make it harder for people to consume porn. Yes. They should make it easier for people to get fit and stay healthy. This creates a dichotomy between freedom and order. Conservatives fear the Hobbesian state of human beings, where we're going to naturally devolve into anarchy and chaos. Thus, we must have order, cultural, customs, traditional guidelines so we don't devolve ourselves into savage brutes. This is exactly why they're against free market capitalism, which implies the absence of regulation. We have to be practical. We can't have crackheads and people running around with RPGs, for God's sake. That would be their typical response, and as if free market capitalism doesn't have things in place to prevent that from happening. The left, on the other hand, sees this as a mental restraint, that this is destroying their intellectual freedom and their ability to enjoy life. Why do you think the sexual liberation happened, the large use of recreational drugs in the 70s, and feminist movements wearing pussy hats? 
I don't know either. Don't ask me. This was all a response to hard drug laws, the arbitrary punishment of the possession of porn magazines, and telling women they have a supernatural duty to bear children and become housewives. I'm just extremely traditional. You know, my view on women is based on the Bible, and it's it's really, it's just based on common sense. It means that women were designed to make babies. That's what, like you said, that's what they were put here to do. That's their job. The left realized that these beliefs were religious in nature, so they turned away from God, went to society, which inevitably developed into socialism and Marxism. And this, broadly speaking, is something called humanism, which is the idea that man has supreme authority rather than nature or God. And the progression of mankind is the ultimate purpose of all human action. And this is important because the political manifestation of humanism is simply socialism, because humanism, as a rejection of nature and an elevation of man, seeks to eliminate any form of inequality between people. So These beliefs are ultimately anti-theocratic, but they still require the sacrifice of the individual to the collective to uphold the societal good or the social good. Good. Again, both political ideologies are sacrificing the individual to something higher and beyond himself. In short, both ideologies are just statist. Statism is a belief that your life is owned by the state and the state gets to do away with you in any way it pleases. How the state will do away with you just depends on what type of gang is in office currently. One year you might be learning how Jesus is the savior of everybody and the next year you might be learning how to masturbate and respect people's genders in school. When both parties believe that sacrifice is a proper political procedure, then it only comes down to which gang has the most supporters. There is no rational argument one can throw to the other side because again they both agree neither side can justify their politics morally or politically because they both require statism now to turn to the idea why i think conservatives are the worst let me emphasize that they do pay lip service to things like liberty freedom rights constitutionalism and capitalism i myself are in favor of those words but the conservative use of those words are hollow they do not know what these words mean or how to put them in practice they think that we must respect the constitution because it's tradition that rights are god given somehow and that capitalism is when competition occurs notice how i didn't say private ownership and production occurs that's because they don't believe in that they believe in regulating and tailoring the market so everybody has a fair shot but that's precisely unfair not only is it a violation of the business owners rights to tell them what they can and cannot do with their own private property but you're essentially saying hey you're too productive you're too good and you're too successful we must regulate you it's essentially punishing the good because they're good it's punishing the productive the innovators the entrepreneurials essentially the champions of capitalism conservatives want to hold on to the effects of capitalism but they are continually undermining the causes of the great prosperity capitalism has brought this is exactly what happened during the German Antitrust Act. If he charges prices which some bureaucrats judge as too high, he can be prosecuted for monopoly or for a successful intent to monopolize. If he charges prices lower than those of his competitors, he can be prosecuted for unfair competition or restraint of trade. And if he charges the same prices as his competitors, he can be prosecuted for collusion or conspiracy. Only businessmen, the producers, the providers, the supporters, the atlases, who carry our whole economy on their shoulders, are regarded as guilty by nature and are required to prove their innocence without any definable criteria of innocence or proof. That question cannot be answered and it just adds on to the arbitrary power that the state has given itself. When this philosophy is instituted into capitalism, it creates people like Lyndon B. Johnson. When he goes into office and he says, hey, we gotta do this whole entire thing about the war on poverty. But it's not the type of poverty where you're being reduced to food deserts and mud huts. It is the type of poverty that is created when one becomes too wealthy and the wealth gap amongst people become too large. Again, what does it mean to be too large? If fair is what these people want, then why don't we adopt Marxism? where there is no poverty everybody's just equal again in principle the right and left agree but it's a difference in degree and this is why i think the conservatives are the worst they uphold and talk about things they don't know about i would say the left is knowledgeable on what socialism and marxism means but the conservatives do not they are intellectual frauds let me wrap up this video by giving a quick example let us suggest that you are an upcoming superhero and there is this random guy that admires you so much that he becomes this annoying copycat let us say he watched you religiously train and he tried to adopt all your techniques and skills and everything and when the major villain comes up to destroy the world he goes out there and tries to fight the villain imitating you when he does try to fight the villain you notice that his technique skills and overall performance is just garbage you yell at him and tell him hey you're not doing this right and he turns around and tells you to shut up and he says i'm doing better than you well during their battle the villain is obviously winning and kicking this dude's butt so you're presented with this question do you yell at the villain and say hey stop it allow my annoying copycat friend to beat you which puts you in a position to support a fraud or do you get mad at the copycat and wish for him to fail so he can realize that whatever he's doing is obviously not working. I hold the latter position. The conservatives must fail because they are unable to defeat the left. I want to wrap up this video from a quote from Barry Goldwater, a conservative to remind you. 
Our enemies have understood the nature of the conflict, and we have not. They are determined to win the conflict, and we are not.